Lee. They'll bring with them a degree of unpredictability. Daniel Arell, BBC News, at the Royal Mews. Mm, we need that weather this weekend coming. Now then, the weather gorgeous on Mount Snowdon. Let's go back to Sean, who's at the top there, with the torch approaching. Yes, I'm told it's not going to be too long now. So I'm actually here on the summit at the moment. So uh, Sir Chris Bonington arrived about uh, 20 minutes or so on the Snowdon Mountain Railway, along with a flame in the lantern. So that flame will then be transferred well into the Olympic torch. The Olympic torch will be lit so that Sir Chris Bonington can carry it up there to the summit. Now we understand that that's going to take place uh, just after 10 o'clock this morning. There cannot be two Olympic torches burning at the same time, a light at the same time. The, the convoy has headed off to Llandidno with the Olympic torch there. So it's a delicate matter of timing, which of course is being worked out to the second so that uh, the flame will be extinguished in Llandidno, the torch there, uh, to allow Sir Chris Bonington to carry uh, the torch burning uh, to the summit of Snowdon. We're up uh, more than three and a half thousand feet with a huge crowd of people here to welcome him and the Olympic flame. Uh, many of them local people decided to come up uh, to Snowdon today to be part of the event and here we are some of the marshals now as you can see uh, live are actually clearing the route uh, in readiness uh, for Sir Chris Bonington who spent many, many days in Snowdonia himself, uh, many weeks and months training over the years for his expeditions to the Himalayas and up Everest. Uh, Snowdon used very much as a training ground by many mountaineers, including Edmund Hillary over the years, and uh, many members of the armed forces are up here regularly training as well. Today, it's a party atmosphere here because the Olympic flame will be making its way to the summit. Uh, We'll be keeping an eye on proceedings, uh, making sure that our camera is trailed on Sir Chris Bonington as he comes from uh, literally over here, which is the, the Café Havod Aruri, that building that you can see there. The train uh, uh, pulls into the station there that arrived some 20 minutes ago, as I said, and that is the route that Sir Chris Bonington will come, be coming up to the top of Snowdon very, very shortly. And fabulous sunshine for this occasion, Sean. Couldn't have been nicer. But how many days like this do you get at the top of snow in a year? Uh, we don't get many days like this at the top of Snowdon, no. Uh, I'm told only, what, two or three days a year that the conditions are this great. It couldn't be better, could it? We don't have any cloud. We can see everybody. You can see me. We were keeping our fingers crossed. Uh, obviously, we've been planning this for a long time, hoping that everything would go well on the day. The flame isn't here yet, so we certainly don't want to jinx anything, but at least we've got the weather for it. Sean, uh, we're going to just stay with you because uh, we are told it's uh, 10 o'clock pretty much where we're expecting this to happen, just a minute away. So forgive us if we hang on to you. And uh, you, you talk about the, the atmosphere there. Uh, and uh, we've seen this since the torch arrived in the UK. It, it really is bringing out the, the, the cheeriness in people, isn't it? It is certainly bringing out the crowds. I've been following it on its route here through Wales. Uh, this is day five of its journey through Wales. Of course, uh, day 11 of its journey here in the UK. And yesterday, I was in Portelli at the Sailing Academy and then in Carnarvon, the, uh, the majestic castle town of Carnarvon, a World Heritage Site. And the crowds were there as well, and the sunshine was there. So really, a, a fantastic day for people to, to come out as it is today to enjoy the sunshine and to really uh, be part of history because having spoken to some of the people here on the summit of Snowdon this morning who've been here from very, very early on. I mean, I came up on the seven o'clock train, which was bringing the media up here to the summit, and we were passing a lot of walkers then. Uh, the cheer, not there for Sir Chris Boddington, but for one of the uh, Aruri Harriers. They're the local uh, group that uh, regularly come up and down Snowdon, and uh, the record for making it up and down uh, the highest peak here in Wales is 40 minutes. I can barely believe it. It took us uh, well over an hour this morning on the train. Uh, that's good going and about the same time of course for the Olympic flame to come up in the carriage and the lantern earlier. But these guys really are fantastic. Now I'm hearing something. Oh, can we see something down there? Uh, what's happening? I'm just going to uh, 
reach through the crowds to see if I can take a peek. Now, there's a group down there. Uh, I can see members of the uh, group that accompany the torch. We're just getting our um, camera there. We can see members of LOCOG. And uh, we can see the flame. I'm just trying to uh, get around the crowd here because everybody's crowding in. I most probably can't quite see as well as you can, but we are hoping that Sir Chris Bonington is going to round that corner very shortly. It is a case of timing, everything running to the second. There it is, I can see it. We can see the torch. The torch is alight. The mist just gently coming over. And here comes the Olympic torch lit up to the summit of Snowdon and the torch is on its way so the crowd here looking forward to that moment so Chris Bonington carrying the Olympic flame to the summit of Snowdon he's enjoying himself waving to the crowd just rounding the corner there this is the moment so Chris Bonington carrying the Olympic torch to the summit of Snowdon quick stop there for photographs this is the highest point in the torch relay as he carries the flame there for the media to get that shot as he carries the torch. Crowds all taking their photographs. What a photo opportunity this is. A very special photograph for the album. Very crowded here on the summit. He is continuing right to the top, to the very summit, making his way through the crowds to applause. I can see the torch held aloft, the flame in the sky. So Chris Bonington, the highest point of England and Wales. Of course, he's been to the top of Mount Everest. Today, he's on the top of Mount Snowdon, almost there, almost there. Accompanied by the team, almost now, at the highest point of England and Wales, the highest point of the Olympic torch relay. Final few steps, clasping hold of people's hands, waving. A photo opportunity there just before he makes those last few steps to the top. And here we are. There we are. He is live on the top of Snowdon. The highest point in England and Wales. The highest point of the Olympic torch relay. Smiling to the crowds. A great sense of occasion for all those up here on Snowdon today. So Chris Bonington on the summit. The torch held aloft and the sun is shining as is the Olympic torch. People here have been waiting for a long time to see this moment. Let's have a, a chat with some of them. We can see. What did you think, young lady, of seeing Sir Chris Bonington? She's frightened of the camera I think. Ma'am, do you want to come over and have a word with us? <laughs> what did you make as he was going past? Oh, I thought it was fantastic. A really special moment, one to remember. 
it's lovely, really good. Have you come far? From Fangoflin. So here in North Wales, across from North East yeah. Wales, to see yeah, it one the moment. The only place to see it today was up here. <laughs> there was no better place. Are you following the torch elsewhere now through its journey in, in North Wales? On the television, yes, definitely. Uh, looking forward to it all. What does it mean to you today to be here on the highest point of the UK torch relay, watching the flame burn now as we are? I just think it's one of those memories you'll treasure forever. And as I said, for me, there was no better place than on the top of Snowdon to come and see it. Are you a keen walker? Is this something that you would uh, do regularly? It is, yes. I did um, Kilimanjaro two years ago for charity, so it's a big part of my life now. <laughs> well, well done. I'm hoping you're enjoying your day. Brilliant. It's fantastic. The weather's great. <laughs> It certainly is. The weather here today on Snowdon is fantastic. And Dewi Davis uh, from the Snowdonia National Park Authority is uh, still with us. Uh, well, you saw the moment, Sir Chris Bonington, he's still up there. He's climbing now right onto the top. Um, and, and tell us about that, the, the small building on the summit. Uh, there's, an there's a cairn on the, on the summit and um, it's, there he goes. He's stood up there. He's, he's actually the highest man in England and Wales as we speak. So uh, quite a moment for him. I'm sure, even though he's been to higher places before, as has the torch. Um, the torch itself has been at Everest uh, four years ago, so um, yeah, it's a, it's a climb down, but it's uh, still iconic. The highest point this time round, anyway, and as you say, Sir Chris Bonington, there he is, the highest man in England and Wales as we speak, and as is that Olympic torch, and he's enjoying himself, isn't he, Dewey? He looks like he is, isn't he? <laughs> I've got to get myself one of those tracksuits because they're, they're quite fetching, aren't they? Well, I think they are very much in demand, as do all the wear the torchbearers. He is wearing the uh, the outfit, the official outfit of the torchbearers there on the top of Snowden today. Yeah, how do I get my hands on one? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what we can do for you. Uh, let's see. They're going to begin now, coming down from the top of Snowden. Some of the uh, low cog people clearing a route so that uh, he's going to be able to come down safely, of course, carrying that torch. Dewey, how many people make it to the top here every year? Um, roughly uh, about 440-odd thousand, so uh, yeah, quite a few, significant amount. Um, there's several footpaths they can take, uh, some are easier than others. You know, there's the famous uh, Creep Gorch Ridge that's, uh, that's uh, classed as a scramble, so um, yeah, people need to know what they're doing before they come here, to be honest with you, and uh, not, not all of them do, which is why the rescue service is uh, kept busy unfortunately but um, obviously today most of these people have come up the Llanberis path I imagine so one of the easiest um, more of a more of a fitness uh, test than a test for your, your head for heights um, there's an easier way obviously the way most of us came actually which is by train so um, I feel a bit of a cheat today but uh, never mind it's a one-off and as we were passing on the train this morning, uh, you were showing me that the, the clog wind scree there, and then that's uh, one that's very, very uh, difficult, but one that Sir Chris Bonington would think nothing of tackling. Yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm not a climber, I'm more of a walker, but um, yeah, he wouldn't yeah, probably dr just breeze up there. Um, it's the famous climbing cliff, uh, clog, cloggy as it's known, or clog wind did out of it, so um, yeah, spectacular. And of course, that's where the, 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 the rare plants are, are to be found as well, a lot of them. Thank you very much uh, for being with us. I know you're, you're staying around. A great atmosphere here on the summit of Snowdon as the Chris Bonington has taken the Olympic flame right to the top. Shah, many thanks for that. We hope to hear from Sir Chris himself uh, shortly. A reminder also that you can follow live coverage of the Torch Relay. Uh, go to bbc.co.uk slash Torch Relay. The link is there. Now, just going to take you to the Crown Prosecution Service in Central. Of the charity reprieve. Well, let's return now to the Olympic torch relay. A mother flame has arrived at the top of the highest mountain in, in Wales uh, in, and in England. We should make the point. Let's go to, let's not go to Snowdon because we've got some technical issues. The flame is alight. I'm not sure our camera is. <laughs> uh, Sean Lloyd, are you, are you with us? I'm live here on the top of Snowdon with Sir Chris Bonington. Uh, well, quite a day for you. You're used to being well, the highest man on the roof of the world in your expeditions to Everest, but uh, highest man in England and Wales a few moments ago as you stood on the top of Snowdon with the Olympic flame burning. 
Oh, it was something very, very special. I didn't realise just how special it was going to be, and I think it was a combination of, for me, this is part towards the end of a long, long journey of about 60 years, which started 60 years ago here on Snowdon when I started climbing as a young lad. And I've been back to Snowdon on many, many occasions, climbing different routes, kind of around Snowdonia itself and so on. So Snowdon is deep within my roots. And then to be able to take part in this, you know, incredible experience. And I didn't realize just how fantastic it was going to be, you know, the honor of carrying this torch and joining, you know, what, 5,000 other torchbearers around the United Kingdom. And, you know, the fantastic group of people who walked all the way up Snowdon to be part of it. The whole thing is wonderful. And the flame came up on the Snowdon Mountain Railway with yourself this morning. Not usual for you to come up on the train. <laughs> it was my first ascent by train. <laughs> and I think I must have climbed it about 30 times on foot over the years. But, but it was nice coming up on the train, actually, because one had a good chat with my, my escorts, the Metropolitan Police and the other people who have been supporting the, um, the relay. So, no, it was, it was really great. And I, and I had my breath back by the time I got up here as well. <laughs> of course, and to uh, be welcomed by all those crowds. I know you got a chance to shake a few people's hands and everybody wanted your photograph. It's a lovely atmosphere. Well, it was wonderful. And, I mean, everyone here, yeah, they're my fellow walkers and climbers who, you know, share the same passion that I do. And many, many young people here today. Uh, we talk about the legacy of the London 12 uh, Olympics. Uh, a little bit of a legacy here today. Do you think it's going to mean a lot to these youngsters and they, it's going to be in their memory for a long time? Oh, very much so. I hope so. And I hope whether they, they get, I'm sure most of them will be keen walkers, perhaps take up climbing, perhaps go into athletics, but who knows? But I think the real legacy of the Olympics as a whole is actually getting our young people out doing things physically stretching themselves in, in whatever activity. There's so many different things, so many different disciplines within the Olympic movement, and each one of them is equally worthwhile. Thank you very much for talking to us. I know that you're going off climbing now, aren't you, for the rest of the day? I am indeed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Thanks very much for talking to us here on BBC News and uh, all these people here wanting to uh, get a chat with Sir Chris, I know as well, um, here on the summit of Snowdon. Oh, very nice. Sean, thank you.